That's crazy. I've never seen nothing like that in my whole entire life. Welcome, fans, back to Wrestling Society X at Cross. I tell you, we've been talking about it. Has anybody been able to find anything out about that guy that attacked Vampiro? Right now, we're taking a look back to last week when this monster came out and attacked WSX champion Vampiro. Chris, you gotta think that this is about more than just the WSX title. And we have been trying to get to the bottom of this all week, but right now, as I understand, there's a camera somewhere with, with this man. Vampiro, what? You didn't recognize me. You had a war, but you rigged my casket with explosive. And this, Vampiro, this is the result. Six Pack has no idea how lucky he was that he could have suffered the same fate as me. Vampiro, your days on Earth are numbered. Oh, I don't know if I want to be that kind of dark alley, but one guy we're looking forward to meeting is Jibs. Hey, Jibs, how you doing, buddy? What's up? Nice to meet you. What's going on, my friend? Scoot it down. You. Let's kick it down to Fabian Kalen to shout out tonight's first bout. Welcome to Wrestling Society X! Tonight, the excitement cannot be contained. It cannot be controlled. In fact, it might just explode! Our opening tag team bout is scheduled for one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Coming to the ring first, from the land of the rising sun, Hiroguchi and Yoshino, Team Dragon Gate! These guys are a hell of a long way from home, the land of the rising sun, Dragon Gate. Tag team action kicking off the evening right here on Wrestling Society X. And I'm gonna tell you something, Jez, when you see these guys move, they're quicker than anything you've ever seen in all of professional Their opponent wrestling. From the streets of Cleveland, Ohio, M Dog, Matt Cross, and from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Teddy Hart, they are the film and the fury. Here they come, the film and the fury, M Dog 20 and Teddy Hart. M-Dog being from the streets of Cleveland, Ohio. The streets of Cleveland. The mean streets the of Cleveland. Cleveland. That's that what a white line's on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Teddy's coming from Canada, eh? That's right. Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Now, Teddy, Teddy Hart is from the Hart family. Long right. lineage. What a battle this should be. Talk about the speed, the agility, the quickness. Guys, get ready for some action. Here we go. It's going to be Teddy Hart starting things off with Yoshino of Team Dragon Gate. So, Jed, you're a big fan of wrestling? Most definitely. Yeah? Yeah, I like wrestling. Nice arm drag takedown for Teddy Hart. And a counter from Teddy onto Yoshino. Lock. Oh, wow, nice Russian leg sweep from Teddy Hart. Going for a quick pin, only two. <laughs> and already, look at the speed and the agility from from now, all four men, as it's... They moving quicker than cars. That's <laughs> the, absolutely. <laughs> Japanese cars, American cars. Hey, it doesn't matter right now. Off the ropes once again, going for a hip toss block. And it's Haraguchi that takes it to M Dog 20. Whoa, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Right out to the concrete floor. Uh oh, what is this? Off the ropes. M Dog 20. No, a little fake out job right there. <laughs> he had everybody. Oh, another one and into the guard railing. Goes your sheet, no, wow, nice cartwheel. And talk, we were talking about the agility earlier, guys. Oh, right to the ring post. Yeah. I don't know what's in the water in Cleveland, but I guess it makes you pretty agile. Look at oh, this Oh, look at that. Have you ever seen anything like that before, Jim? Man, that's crazy. In the ring goes Haraguchi at the hands of M Dog 20. Off the rope, oh. off the ring. What a nice drop kick catches M Dog 20 in midair. Hart just cheering it on. He wants he wants in. Wait a minute, distracting the referee, doing his tag team partner a disservice at this point in time. As we see a double team commence. Inside of the ring, 
from Team Dragon Gate onto M Dog 20. I, this is ridiculous, guys. The referee, he has no <laughs> clue what's going on. Oh, no. Oh, drop kick. And down. Face first goes M Dog 20 at the hands of the team of the two. Only two again. What do you think of the okay, okay. What do you think of the action so far, Jibs? I mean, Man. agility. It's a lot of double teaming going on. <laughs> Absolutely right. And I know you're a boxer. You're yeah, I'm a boxer. I grew up boxing, so. Wow, that's yeah, pretty cool, definitely. Jibs, because uh, Chris's grandmother used to be a boxer. Oh yeah. Well, oh, what a move! Nice diversion, Chris. Uh oh, Yoshino coming into the ring now. Looks like a power bomb coming up. Oh, oh! reverse into a hurricane and that's got to do it. Oh, how did he kick out of that fence? We have to take a break, but the action will continue. Fans, we're back. While you were gone, the action continued as the Filth of the Fury displayed tag team excellence with an unbelievable double team as M.20 set up Horiguchi for Teddy Hart's shooting star friends, which could very well have been to the best, but it was Yoshino saving his partner by drop kicking Teddy Hart right between the eyes. Now, fans, we're live back in the ring. Arm ringer, close line, duck underneath, and a miss once again. Tilt the world coming up. Oh! Armbar takedown, face first goes Teddy Hart. This action is just so fast paced, James. This is not this is not the wrestling I'm sure you're accustomed to watching. Man, I gotta slow it down just to see the moves. <laughs> oh! Neck breaker, high up, and down goes Yoshino. This has got to do no another near fall. Wow, what action! And listen to these fans. And again, I'll tell you, Hart's mad at the referee. Slow count. That's my thing. Uh oh, we've seen this before. The patented cradle DDT from Teddy Hart. And we do. And that's it. It's over. It's got to be over. That's all she wrote. Let's go for Man, the cover. I've never seen nothing like that in my whole entire life. <laughs> like I've been on Earth that long. <laughs> <laughs> in his 16 years of life, he, Jibs has never seen anything like I've that. I've never before. seen anything like that. <laughs> Oh, there's a nice knee to the small of the back of Teddy Hart. Oh, reverse CDT to the back of the cranium. And check this out, Jibs. These guys can get pinned anywhere in the entire bunker here. You can get pinned in the ring, on the outside of the ring, on the stage where you Man. were performing earlier. Yeah, you can yeah, get pinned. yeah, that's crazy. They can get pinned up here, Jibs. Wow, oh, flipping Tiger Driver! Nicely done! No clue where he's at. On their this backs crazy, right now. Man. Wow, I don't know what they're this going is something for. Serious. Wait a minute. Both members of the Filth and the Fury to the top rope. Oh! What the <laughs> hell do you call any of this? One, two, and it's, it's a double ball. pin. It's a double pin. I've never Man, seen don't that. Ask, don't ask me what I would do if I was out there. Because <laughs> I, I, I don't have an answer either. But right now, let's take a look at the Quiznos. Slam bunch of the back as Teddy Hart comes off the top with the open heart surgery simultaneously with his partner and dog with the shooting star press guys have you ever seen action like this these two have got to be the single greatest tag team in pro wrestling today and that's two in a row for the undefeated filth of the fury and i'll tell you man i don't think there's a tag team in the wsx that could take these guys man i don't know either brett but right now we have our lovely broadcast colleague standing by Lacey here with Scorpio Sky. So, after your loss to Matt Seidel, wouldn't that make him the most likely to succeed? No. It means he got lucky. And I can prove it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show the world that not only was Matt Seidel's win a fluke, but I am better than he is. How? By beating the guy that beat him. And that's you, Jack Evans. So, does this mean that the Prince of uh, Montclair High School is challenging the Prince of Parkland to a match? <laughs> You're damn right. Evans, if you got the guts, come and face the one and only, never lonely, young and rowdy, with a perfect body. I'm always dressed to impress, because I'm simply the best. I'm every young girl's fling, every old woman's dream. The best thing inside the ring. You got the guts. Meet me next week. I'll be the guy carrying these. <laughs> we'll try to get word from Jack Evans tonight on WS Extra. Right now, it's back down to Baby and Kayla. The following match is set for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Coming to the ring first from Minneapolis, Minnesota. He has held more championships than any other WSX competitor. He is six. 
comes Six Pac, and this match pits the crafty veteran against one of WSX's most popular new generation high flying superstars. As the human tornado takes on that man, and the human tornado has a bone to pick with Pac. After Pac attacked the tornado last week, forcing his match to be canceled, well, the PIMP had this to uh, SAY. Six Pac, what the hell was that? You want to attack Human Tornado from behind backstage? When the masses here at WSS would like to see their fan favorite. If your balls are still attached from that exploding coffin, you will bring your ass to that ring. You will face me one-on-one. -on -one. Well, Tornado, you asked for it. You got it. Pac is in the ring, ready to take you on. Pac. And his opponent is from Hollywood, Alabama. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care because he is the P-I-M-P of WSX. He is the Human Tornado. From way atop, the WSX bunker here. You might have seen the tornado in the movie Nacho Libre as well. That's right, absolutely right. This is history. The tornado looking for payback, and look knocking at him out, making him miss his match last week. So Pac's boy could come in there and terrorize Vampiro. I mean, Whoa. that was a legitimate shot at the title we had. And off the tornado, wasting no time, going right after Six Pac as Six Pac goes out of the ring. Uh oh, tornado off the rope. Whoa, all the way up and over the top. And down goes Six Pac. And listen to these fans. Boom, oh. and shot. And another one on the concrete floor fighting amongst the ringsiders. And you can tell right now how angry Tornado is. I mean, he's... Oh! Oh! But wait a minute. And he's going to be even more angry now. <laughs> Man, ever since Pac lost that title match against Vampiro, he's been on a tear. He attacked Man. Tornado. He attacked El Hombre. He has got rage in his eyes. And Pac just laying it on him. Now, Jibs, who do you like in this matchup right now? You got Six Pac, you got the Human Tornado from Hollywood, Alabama. Man, both of them are going at it. I can't call it right now. It's we need a few more minutes in the fight. Absolutely. You know what? You're right. It is too close to call at this point in time. The six Pac look like he's getting it in right he's now. He's looking for the Bronco Buster. Oh, he got it. Delivering the Bronco Buster onto the human tornado and is determined and pissed off as the tornado is. Well, you know what? Six Pac ain't taking crap from no one either, but he missed. The tornado, lucky as can be in a barrel. Oh, look at this now. A little boogie woogie. Oh. For the pin, one, two, referee down, only two again. He uses his dance moves to his advantage, and he may not look like much of a threat, but he is one hell of a wrestler. Look at this, the tornado warming up here. Oh, he almost caught the ref. Oh, six block with a spinning back kick. Down goes the tornado. Pac looking to finish it. Six block going to the top oh, rope. Man. What are we gonna see here, Jibs? Look You're at this. Another shot to the balls. That's what we're going to see. Ball Tornado wailing away now. On to six Pac. Uh-oh. Pac hitting Tornado and his balls of steel has no effect, but that rake to the eye does. Oh, my goodness. Face first from the top. This has got to do it. One, two, three, and it is over. And six Pac is on a rampage here at the WSX. I'll tell you, Tornado came very close to pulling that one off. But the notorious PAC got the win. Well, you know what? Had had Bach kept it clean, I think that Tornado just might have pulled out that victory. But as we all know, I don't think uh, keeping it clean is in Bach's vocabulary. It's not in his vocabulary at all. It's at all. And Thank fans, you. don't go anywhere. When we come back, the debut of the Anarchist, Eric Cannon and Delicato. Stay tuned. Fans, while you were gone, our cameras cut this this bizarre footage. You've lost. One too many times. You must be reprogrammed. This guy, whoever he is, apparently abducted Team Dragon Game. But where the hell is he taking him? The following match is one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Coming to the ring first from the streets of Los Angeles, they call him Delapato.
Here comes Delicato from the streets of, well, Los Angeles, where we're at right now. From LA. One of the local boys in the ring, absolutely right. Not much is known about this young man. And his opponent is from Chicago, Illinois. Your birthplace. He is the anarchist, Eric Cannon. The anarchist, Eric Cannon. Eric Cannon with a lot of facial hair and a mohawk. That really is anarchy, isn't it? It really is. The debut for both these men here in Wrestling Society X as Delicato attacks Cannon from behind and this match officially underway. Now, I'm gonna tell you something, Chris, too, about Delicato. From what I find out, he's a man of very, very little words. I mean, he's conditioned himself not to talk. Apparently, he's been involved in so many uh, crimes that he does never wants to be accused of being a snitch, a rat. and he just does not talk. He's not a rat. He's okay. no Sammy the Bull. Well, nonetheless, he's got his work cut out for him. I mean, look at the size packed in there from Eric Cannon, the anarchist. Oh, wow, nice swinging neck breaker. I, I don't know if I'm into the anarchy thing. I, I like social order myself, Chris. Uh-oh, from pillar to post. Wow, what a shot that was right to the side of the jaw. So, Jibs, who, who, who are you picking in this one? Who do you got? It's, it's, it's pretty hard, man, but I think I'm going to go with Delicado. Yeah, I got to go with Delicato. All right, he's going with Delicato. Wow. I, I got, I got, I got Jibs' back on this one. I think Delicato takes out the air. I'm going to try not to be biased here, but you know what? Winner in this match is still yet to be determined as we are still underway uh -oh. with a nice shot to the back of the neck. <laughs> but look at this, Delicato still on his feet. He's conditioned himself not to talk so much. He didn't even say ouch. Uh oh. Oh, swinging net breaker, holding him on that top rope. And what leverage right there using the ropes. Both men trying desperately to get to their feet here. But it's Cannon to his feet first. Belly to back suplex. Oh my oh. goodness, on the top of his head. And I'll tell you, man, the anarchist, a lot of agility. Very surprising. Absolutely right. You're seeing that from pretty much every player here in Wrestling Society X. This lightning fast action, week in and week out. And the, what the hell is this? Oh no! Wait a minute, who are these guys? Look at this, it's like a gearing attack on Eric Cannon! Hey Chris, it looks like Delicato didn't come here alone. He's got his whole crew here to help him. The fight spilling out to the floor. The referee calling this match a no contest. Delicato throwing Eric Cannon on the concrete floor. Wait a minute, this other guy going to the top, what's he thinking? I know we have no disqualifications here in the WSX, but I gotta agree with the ref throwing this contest out. Where the heck did they get a wheelbarrow full of cement? Things are not looking good for Cannon, bro. Whoa, from the top! <laughs> did you see the height? Brent, Jibs, the elevation on that. Whoa, that's crazy. That's bananas. That's bananas. Guys, this is beyond bananas. Wait a minute, this is serious, guys. They are not gonna dunk his head in wet <laughs> They are dunking his head in wet cement. He's not gonna be able to breathe. We better hope that's not quick dry. And I'll tell you, Delicato and his crew just sent a message that they are not to be messed with. What in the world is this? It looks like they're making a statement right here. That is a dead fish. I don't know what that means to Mexicans, but to the Italians, that's a bad sign. Jibs, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be on their bad side. I wouldn't want to be on their bad side. <laughs> and I'll tell you right now, too, man, these cholos, they don't play. I respect them. Okay, fans, we're going to try to get some more information on just who the hell these guys are on WSX.MTV.com. Until then, we'll see you next week right here on Wrestling Society X. Man, Brett, Cannon got jacked up.
week's edition of WS Extra. And we just found out who that mysterious man was that came out and attacked Vampiro. Ricky Banderas. That's right, the burn and mangled face of Banderas. We learned what it was caused from. There's a history between him and Vampiro. In fact, Vampiro put Banderas in an exploding coffin once before. Six Pac, the latest wrestler to fall victim to Vampiro's exploding coffin, returned to the ring this week to take on Human Tornado. Let's take a look at some of the footage from that encounter. Fight to come in there and terrorize Vampiro. I mean, that was a legitimate shot at the title he had. And off the tornado. Wasting no time. Going right after Six Pac. As Six Pac goes out of the ring. Uh oh. Tornado off the ropes. Whoa. All the way up. Whoa. Oh. Shot. And another one on the concrete floor. Fighting amongst the ring siders. You can tell right now how angry Tornado is. I mean, he oh. More minutes in the fight. Absolutely. He knows right. He's just going to the ball for one time. The six block looks like he's getting it in right now. He's looking for the Bronco bus. Oh, oh, he got it. But he missed. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, 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 oh. Six-Pac was back with a vengeance and playing dirty, making it undoubtedly clear that he still wants to be in contention for the WSX Championship. Speaking of playing dirty, it was supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one encounter between two new faces, the anarchist Eric Cannon and Delicato. However, it didn't turn out that way. The debut for both these men here in Wrestling Society X as Delicato attacks Cannon from behind and this match officially underway. Now I'm gonna tell you something, Chris, too, about Delicato. From what I find out, he's a man of very, very little worth. I mean, he's conditioned himself not to talk. Cannon, the anarchist. Oh, wow, nice. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Who do you got? It's, it's, it's pretty hard, man, but I think I'm gonna go with Delicato. Yeah, I gotta go with Delicato. He's convinced himself not to talk so much, he didn't even say ouch. Uh, oh, oh swinging that finger, holding him on that top rope. But it's Cannon to his feet first, going back to the Oh my goodness, on the top of his head. The anarchist, the journey. We have been seeing week in and week out. And the, what the hell is this? Oh no! Wait a minute, who are these guys? Look at this, it's like a gang attack on Eric Cannon. Hey, Chris, it looks like Delicato didn't come here alone. He's got his whole crew here to help. The fight spilling out to the floor. The referee calling this match a no contest. Delicato throwing Eric Cannon on the concrete floor. Wait a minute, this other guy going to the top. Where the heck did they get a wheelbarrow full of cement? Things are not looking good for Cannon. Whoa, from the top. <laughs> I mean, this is serious, guys. They are not going to dunk his head in what? They are dunking his head in what cement? He's not going to be able to breathe. We better hope that's not quick drive. And I'll tell you, Delicato and his crew just sent a message that they are not to be messed with. What in the world is this? It looks like they're making a statement right here. That is a dead fit. I don't know what that means to Mexicans, but to the Italians, that's a bad sign. Gibbs, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be on their bad side. I wouldn't want to be on their bad side. And I'll tell you right now, too, man, these cellos, they don't play. I respect it. Okay, fans, we're going to try to get some more information on just who the hell these guys are on WSX.MTV.com, the exclusive.
massive home of WS Extra. Fans, it's now time for our bonus matches on WS Extra. That's right, Los Pochos Guapos will be taking on the Trailer Park Boys, so let's take a look at that action. The following tag team match is scheduled for one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Coming to the ring first from Hollywood, California, Joey Chaos Munoz and Aaron Jesus Aguilera, Los Pochos! Guapo! Here comes Chaos and Aguilera, ready to roll. They're ready to mix it up. Wearing their uh, Nerf pants. What are those clothes made out of Nerf? And their opponents from any damn trailer park they please, accompanied by their manager, White Trash Johnny Webb, Spider Nate Webb, Josh Jug Raymond, the Trailer Park Boys! Spider Nate Webb, the Trailer Park Boys, accompanied to the ring by their uncle, former XPW World Heavyweight Champion, White Trash Johnny Webb. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, look at that thing. And you remember what happened last time, that electrocution over there, Bretters, when when the Trailer Park Boys got electrocuted in, in White Trash Johnny Webb. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of like they're blaming, they're blaming him for not helping him out when he had all that time. But nonetheless... Well, we got a lot Wait of... Wait a minute, a little dissension right now. Look at this. Spider-Nate Webb not even listening to White Trash Johnny Webb. <laughs> well, you look... Go ahead. Nonetheless, this match officially underway, and look at the size of Aaron Aguilera going against the small man of the team. That's what I was just going to bring up anyways, Chris, is that, uh, you know, these guys are definitely outsized. But again, we know that toughness sometimes comes in small packages, i.e. jibs. <laughs> oh! And the monster with a huge elbow shot to the side of the head. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh my goodness, oh. twisting elbow from the second rope and trying to cut the massive tree down right now. Oh my goodness. Oh. But the, but the massive tree stands tall as he makes the tag. One kick to the head. Now you know he fell. <laughs> and here comes Spider Nate Webb now into the ring along with Chaos. Up and over goes Chaos. Wow, landing right on his feet, off the ropes, with the momentum. No, clothesline, duck underneath, and out of the ring goes Chaos. Spider Nate Webb, it looks like he's measuring, and Aguilera giving it to Chaos. Oh my goodness, oh. over the top of Aaron Aguilera and on to Chaos. And you know what, Brett? I don't think, I don't think Chaos saw him coming because of that big wall, Aaron Aguilera. Oh no, he blocked the view of his own man. I don't know about, oh no, White Trash Johnny Webb inadvertently slugging their Spider Nate Webb as if they didn't have enough problems already. It's like, you know, his uncle blocked him out just like Aguilera, now they're even, it's one up on the You know what, I'm too into the fight, I'm speechless. <laughs> this is bananas right now as we see Los Pochos Guapos with a double team effort now. On to Spider Nate Webb, double back body drop coming up, no, oh my goodness, right to the back. High up. And far down goes Spider Nate Webb in the safe for Chaos, but this time it's right on top of Spider Nate Webb. And it looks like Nate Webb, he can't kick out. Oh, oh no. And the Trailer Park Boys. Jug working. saving his boy. Jug saving Spider Nate Webb, exactly right, Brett Ernst. And by the hair, Aaron Aguilera has Spider Nate Webb right where he wants him in the center of the ring. The Trailer Park Boys trying to hang in there. Aguilera flips yeah. over. Oh, now, he ain't moving. Now, Chips, do you think by any chance the Trailer Park Boys own your album? <laughs> no, look at the back of his shirt and say Beer City. <laughs> do you think they're closet Jib fans? You think so? Uh, I don't see them with their chains hanging low. All right. <laughs> I couldn't picture them with King Kong in their trailer. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to find that one out. I'd be very curious about that one. Uh oh, wow. Whoa, Spider Nate Webb landing on his feet. Somersault, duck under. Oh, he looked just like a spider when he did that. Ooh! <laughs> Whoa, look at the agility right there. As Jug comes springboarding off that second rope, catches Chaos. Oh, in a low drop kick, chopping the big tree down. Knee to the side of the head, swinging that breaker, and look at the action in this matchup. Referee for the pin, only two. And Aguilera's not having it. He's outsized and Jug. That's where size comes into play right there, man. You can just throw these little guys off like it's nothing. Absolutely. Aaron Aguilera with the clothesline. No, body scissors now. Oh! 
side breaker on that top rope. Oh. Face Buster, this has got to do it too, and it's over. Oh, it's over. It's, it's over, done. baby. Trailer Park boys got wiped away just like a tornado went right through their home. And you know what, guys? Absolutely right, Brett. It looked like a tornado just wiped them out, and and they're right now in shambles. Not only physically, but it seems like mentally. I mean, they are just not functioning as a solid unit that you thought they would being family. Last week on WS Extra, we caught a confrontation in the hallway between Luke Hawks and Alcatraz and keeping it gangsta. Let's take it to the ring and let the turf wars begin. The following tag team match is scheduled for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Coming to the ring first, they are the team that's the king of bling, Baby Slim, and the regulator of the ring, Keeping It Gangsta! And here comes Keeping It Gangsta! That's right, Ruckus and Baby Slim, I'll tell you right now, <laughs> you might want to compare that ladder, Jibs, to what you're wearing oh, around your neck. Oh, yeah, 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 most now, definitely. Jibs, I gotta ask Red you Red and blue. I gotta ask you this, check that ladder out. How much do you think that ladder's worth? Look at the bling on that thing. Man, I don't know, that's about like a million carats. That's what we got before. Absolutely. It's like a million carats right there. You know what? That thing gotta be worth at least five mil. Wow. Five tickets. And their opponents are out on bail and out of control, Alcatraz and Luke Hawks. Taking Jim's advice, having their chains hang low, but coming to the ring now oh, yeah. are two bad dudes right now. Oh, yeah. We got Luke and Alcatraz, who, by the way, has done time in every penal system in the state of California. Absolutely. He's one bad dude. Even when he was born, he came out in nine months, they had to stick him back in. He got another <laughs> foul for bad behavior. Now, now, this should be a great match. You got Luke Hawks, the speed, the agility of the team, and the big man Alcatraz. And look at the contrast of style, not a contrast at all, because you got Keep It Against the Ruckus, the speed, the agility of their team, and the big man, Baby Slim, wow. And the two quick men are starting off right now, Luke Hawks and Ruckus. We got we got agility on agility here, Chris. Collar and elbow tie up right now. Shots to the head, and Luke Hawks with the offense in the early going of the match. And it's a big reverse knife edge chop onto Ruckus. Another one from Luke Hawks. And Luke Hawks originally being from New Orleans, you know, he really had nowhere to go after that. And he's just been roaming around and comes here. And his boy Alcatraz took him up. See, Luke likes to talk junk, but he has Alcatraz finishing. Well, Lake Scissor takedown, cartwheel up and over. And here comes the big man, Baby Slim in the ring. Double team coming up, guys. Uh-oh, look at this, double hit toss. Oh, oh man, look like another double team, right? <laughs> oh, my oh. goodness. Luke taking two size 12s in the face. 24 total. And a huge elbow drop. One, two, three. And still yet to come into this match. The big man, Alcatraz. Again, like you said, Brett, serving time in every penal system in the state of California. Yeah, he's one bad dude, and Luke knows it. Oh! oh! Nice double team right there. Whoa, 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 Jim, take it easy, take it easy. Why are you easy. calling out on Jim? What? man? He calling on me? All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh? I know, I know no, no, you got the right. It's all right, it's all right. Hold on, hold on. He doesn't know, he doesn't know Jim's oh, skills. Oh, it's cool, it's cool. I will go down in that ring I know, right I know. now. Hey, it's cool, it's cool. But nonetheless, back to the action, guys. Please, if you could take a deep breath, Jim, we apologize for that. As Alcatraz just dumps Ruckus like yesterday's newspaper, and just look at the size of Alcatraz. Oh my goodness, now they look at that oh, stare down. Look like he picking on Baby Slim now. <laughs> you know what though, he tried to pick on you, Jibs. I don't like that. I don't like that yeah, either. Yeah, I don't like that neither. I think I'm gonna go down there. Whoa, 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 Jibs, just please, stay right here, Jibs, please. No, it's please. okay, Jibs. We're gonna do this after then. All right, look at this, double team right now from Luke Hawks. No! Alcatraz, in face first, down to the canvas. Goes Ruckus of keeping it gangsta. Referee down for the pin. In another near fall. A baby slim. Whoa. Bought in a quicker count. Both these tag teams have a lot of momentum riding here in the WSX, but it's coming to a head as they're going against each other this week. Nice trip up right there. Oh, standing shooting star press. Oh. And that one hurt Ruckus. And look at that. Alcatraz, Alcatraz not letting it happen. Baby Slim now coming. Oh! 
What a powerful clothesline oh. that was. I told you, man, Alcatraz is a bad dude. He takes on everybody. He wants to fight everybody. He literally put a target on his back for on purpose. And look at this, double team again. Oh my goodness, high knee right into the chest of Ruckus. And down goes Ruckus at the hands of the big man Alcatraz. But down goes Luke at the hands of the big man Baby Slim. And now the two big men are going Oh, to it. it looked like they got another flat line right there. <laughs> A flatliner indeed, Jibs. And look at the face and the eyes, the, deter the determination of Baby Slim at this point in time. Oh no, but Luke too quick and got out of the way as Baby Slim goes down to the concrete floor. Oh, nice kick to the stomach. And now it's agility on agility, just how we began the match. Absolutely right, up and over. Oh! Oh! oh. Where the hell did that come from? Took a heel to the, oh, that's, that's gotta hurt. Suplex coming up, it looks like, no! Alcatraz holding on to the legs! No, 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 oh, come, come on! on ah. Alcatraz cheated. Surprised he didn't shake him. Chips, you saw that Alcatraz was holding his Man. legs. The referee had no idea, but nonetheless, Alcatraz and Luke Hawks get the victory. That's I just crazy. I can't believe it. A miscarriage of justice if I ever. And Baby Slim with his keeping it gangsta clothing. All right, now hopefully these guys get out of here. Lacey, earlier tonight I saw you with Scorpio Sky and he issued a challenge to Jack Evans. Well, guess what? I just found out that next week that match is going to happen. And we've got a tag team matchup between that 70s team and DIFH. Plus, our musical guest, Good Charlotte. All that and more on Wrestling Society X. Good, man. Good. The time it is, and everything was all good. Hey, we got a boy, Jibs. Hey, let's go in there and talk to him real quick. Jibs, what's going on, man? Oh, what's up, man? What's, what's up? going on? Yeah, man, just chilling. You know, Most definitely. Good looking out on our match. Oh, no, y'all yeah, did y'all thing. I had, to, I had to put in the good words, so. Yeah, yeah we tried. Yeah, we was out there doing our thing real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, water, yeah, like, you know, yeah I see y'all, Blink got your chain hanging. Yeah. In fact, how low your chain hanging? How low y'all chain hanging today, man? Well, uh. I mean, it's hanging, but it ain't hanging as low as yours. Man. Oh, no, but, it's, it's you know, still all good, though. At least okay. you got your chain yeah. hanging low, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Chain yeah. Low, you know. Chain yeah. hanging low, they ain't fishing in the chain hanging low. Because, you know, up, gotta, gotta have a lot of bling, like, ching. Yeah, that. <laughs> well, good looking out, man. Oh, yeah, yeah man. man. Good it was good seeing y'all again, too. Right. Stay up. All right, baby. Yeah, that.